My name is Nadolon Impuno, and I'm with the International Chemical Secretariat, ChemSec. In our modern world, chemicals are found everywhere. In the cars we drive, in the clothes we wear, and in the toys our children play with. Chemical products have greatly improved our daily life. However, some of these are potentially dangerous. Classification and labeling are efficient tools to inform consumers and users on how to handle these products. In a globalized world, with trade between different regions, it is not optimal with different systems for classification and labeling of chemicals. The GHS is a harmonized system developed at a UN level for classification and labeling of chemical substances and mixtures and is a worldwide unified system for communication on chemicals using safety data sheets and easily understandable symbols. It is a hazard-based system, which means it is based on the hazardous properties of a substance or a preparation, such as does it burn? Will it damage your skin? Could it cause cancer? Is it dangerous to inhale? Will it pollute the environment? And so on. The European Union has promised to implement the GHS system by 2008. Accordingly, the European Commission has presented a law proposal for an EU GHS. The aim is to reach an agreement of an EU GHS between the European Parliament and the Council by June 2008. The lawmakers now have a crucial possibility to influence and improve the system proposed by the European Commission. Some of the advantages of the introduction of an EU GHS are facilitated trade and decreased costs for companies, increased level of protection of human health and the environment, and improved information to consumers and professional users on safe use and handling. Of concern is that the European Commission has suggested that the EU does not implement the whole UN GHS system. The present proposal excludes a Category 5 for classification and labelling of acute oral toxicity as well as excludes the labelling of PBT substances. We urge the legislators to restore the benefits of an EU GHS by introducing a Category 5 and labelling requirements for PBT products, that is products containing chemicals that are persistent, bioaccumulative and toxic. In related ChemSec films, I will further explain the implications of the different proposals on GHS. I'll see you then.